Mike, with a player like Andreas Borgman and the physicality we've seen in a limited role in the preseason, how might that translate to the National Hockey League in his first run at it? Well, I just think the, the biggest thing is when you're heavy. You know, it'd be... My buddy's a fireman, always tells me, he says, if you drive a big vehicle, no matter how many airbags are in the little vehicle, the big vehicle wins every time. Well, when you're 230 and you're bumping into a 190, the bigger guy wins. So that doesn't mean you're doing anything different than anyone else. It's just the wear and tear of the league. There's heavy guys. When you run into him, people fall over. And his edges are elite as well, and so he can make that good breakout pass. Though, does he have a lot to learn? Absolutely. But we like uh, a lot of things about him. What excites you about the growth, the, uh, the back end, the defensive growth is going to take, or you see taking this year? Well, I mean, obviously, Brian Hainsey is real good for us. He's a calm veteran guy who feels good about the game, and his game's at a high level, and he knows how to play without the puck. So, I mean, just what he's going to be able to pass on O'Reilly alone is going to be immense, but just for our group. So that's positive. And then, obviously, we have many more battles for jobs, and they're all skaters, puck movers at the same time. So to me, the way the game's played, if you can't move the puck, it's hard. So it's positive for us. Have you been so. happy with what you've seen from the pairing of Riley and Hainsey together so far in the preseason? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like anything. It's, it's their work in progress, just like most groups. And so you want to find some chemistry. Um, you know, Hainsey's penalty killing with Zaitsev, which I think is real good for us uh, as Rice goes in the power play. But, uh, you know, between him and, and guards and Zaitsev and the other, those top four, they're going to play the toughest matchups and get the best opportunity that way. So it should be fun to see what happens. Eric Beer said that one of the favorite parts of his job is, is mentoring the young players and hanging out and helping to guide them and sharing advice that he can. A guy like that who's had so much experience playing on good teams, what have you noticed in bringing to this room? Well, I mean, he's just a real good pro. He's a real good person, and he likes to do things right, and he competes hard every day, every day in practice. He's doing it right every day in the exhibition games, whether it was with the young guys or the old guys. He did it right, and, and I think that's an example for everybody. I think that's what Hainsey brings. I think that's what Moore brings. I think it's that's important from your veteran crew, and so uh, that's why they're here. Is line A Matthews a good way to start the season? Bringing fans yeah, well, well, I thought the Leafs were playing Winnipeg, though. Mike, you mentioned Gardner's uh, evolution and the strides he's taken the last couple of years earlier in camp. What do you think is his ceiling? How, how good can he be? Yeah, I mean, obviously only time will tell, but he, what I like about him, he's gotten way better defensively, and so he has the puck way more and plays way more offense. But he can play against anybody. He's really smart. He's confident. Uh, we have a real good pair there, and they get the puck going. They don't spend a whole lot of time in their own zone, which is positive. How much of what you've done with him is, is kind of give him confidence because that's one thing he was struggling with. Yeah, but I can't give anyone confidence. I try to, with my kids, they got to earn confidence. I mean, you got to set up a platform for them to try to earn it. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've tried to do. But, you know, I think we've done a good job here just trying to talk to our guys. And, and uh, I think when you're talking to people every day and they can feel good about themselves, it can translate on the ice. So that's your biggest priority. Now, you got 23 guys on your team at camp, you got 100 guys on your team, you don't get a chance to talk to anybody, but now we got to get do a good job here.